Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X viewers. Um, this is a post-commentary episode. Why? Well, um, the auto somehow didn't record, even though it was all quite perfect. And we're in the Thunder Plains, as you can see, and I just got hit by lightning. Um, and yeah, that's something that's gonna happen quite often, I get hit by lightning after right after the battle and uh yeah this one is a battle and we have seen with the enemy enemies and the gold element there and the uh floating eye thing lure uh they're both weak to water so uh lulu is it gonna be a great asset in these battles here oh yeah there's also the email but i think it's not ready he just takes care of it easily. Uh, Lance at new enemies all the time, yours. It's. You're not sure if you can do something. Uh, Lulu. Here I go. Uh, basically, just do the usual routine. Switch out party members and all that. So you can uh, have everyone gain AP. Yeah, that, I'm gonna tell you about these uh, slightly later after the battle. Well, actually, I can say it now since it's post commentary. Uh, healer mode, basically, uh, overdrive. It's related to the overdrive gauge. Uh, as you do certain commands on the, during the battle, uh, you gain you can gain different ways to uh, raise your. Uh, Overdrive gauge. Uh, later, I'm gonna be switching Yuna from Stoic to a healer. That way, whenever she heals someone, her overdrive gauge rises. Oh, which is pretty awesome. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to gain uh, overdrives when you have some. That way. Back on the field! I still have that lightning ball equipped on Baka, and I never realized. So, how shall we do this? Anyways, have uh, Lulu finish off the battle. Oh, I have this Oh yeah, he never had a turn, that's Allow fine. Me. I think I'm gonna get a right at the beginning, so I don't know why I did that. Easy. And we're going to be burning a lot of AP in the Thunder Plains here. Um, there's a lot of random encounters, and I just got hit by lightning again. So, yes, overdrive. Uh, you have to go to set mode, which is uh, up here. And uh, stoic, it's when you receive damage, obviously. And then you go to healer, which is uh, when you heal allies. So I switched it to that. So whenever her over, whenever she heals, her overdrive gauge rises, which is awesome. Something that we really need. We want to do uh, more grand summoning. Yeah, let's cure everyone. Anyways, um, that was a cactus stone you see here. That's gonna do for uh, Kimari's ultimate weapon later. And again, I get hit by lightning right after a battle. Really, really annoying this area for, the, for that. Not only that, but see, there wasn't even an X on the screen. And here's the old man. Well, hello there. Would you like to hear about this place? Pity. Well, hey. hello. Very well. Let me tell you about the crossing. A long time ago, this place was a traveler's nightmare. Plains of lightning, plains of thunder. Those who cross are torn asunder. Or so they used to say. Then a man by the name of Bilgen appeared. 
Using Machina, he built towers that served as lightning rods across the plains. Finally, travelers were able to cross in safety. Pilgrim was building that tower over there. When he struck and killed by lightning. <laughs> Poor guy. Getting killed by lightning. That's a bit of a... Um, yeah. Uh, as you notice, I didn't do any uh, transitions. Um, the fact is, this episode is just, it's actually quite longer. And a new enemy in this battle. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, it's a floating thing there, and it's uh, like a pupa or something. So, yeah, the larva. Heal attack. Did nothing. Plants it. Yeah, it's weak to water, so um I have Riku. Yeah, I didn't use her overdrive yet. But we can steal a lunar curtains from from those guys. Yeah, let's kill it. Uh, larvas the only thing they do is uh cast the thunder spells, just like those guys here. Well, Thundara So it's really, really important to uh, kill him quickly. Another thing you can do is uh, have Yuna cast a Null Shock, which will negate at least one lightning spell on a, on a character. Sit back and watch! So that's one thing to do. Yeah, I just wanted to get this done. I think I did use it. Yeah, I got it. Um, as you notice, uh, Riku is gaining quite the amount of AP, uh, sphere levels. Uh, since she just arrived in the party, it's normal. And I got hit by lightning again. Yeah, I missed a treasure chest way back in the beginning, but I couldn't find it, which really annoyed me. But, um, there's one uh, around this corner here with another cactus stone. And I dodged the lightning! Oh yeah! Water ball, finally we get that. Um, yeah, I switched for the switch that I probably did that off screen without realizing it. And another cactus. Ow. Yeah, I don't really know why I showed this part. She could have actually just. Oh well, you get to see what I do, um. Off screen. <laughs> and the fact that there's so many random battles is really annoying. And uh, yeah, Orlin got the uh, warrior uh, overdrive mode. Yeah, comrade isn't that good. I mean, sure, it rises whenever your friends get damaged, but. Which means you got two chances out of three to fill it. Maybe I should. <sighs> it's just a bit of an annoying kind of thing, deal. And, uh, you get halfway. Whoa! That was a close one! <laughs> Stop kidding around. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hmm. 
What's wrong? <laughs> You're giving me the creeps. stops. Better to cross quickly. I know, but just for a little while. <laughs> well, what now? <sighs> Pretty please? Just a few minutes. <sighs> 